Hello, my name is Alessandro Baccini. I'm a scientist at the Ultra Research Center and I'm interested in the use of satellite data for the monitoring of carbon stock in the tropical ecosystems. I'm working with uh, my colleague, uh, Dr. Wayne Walker, and uh, together we have been um, collaborating in a pantropical project that has um, the goal of quantifying the biomass in the vegetation. This project gave us the opportunity for the first time to generate a uh, specially explicit um, map of carbon stock for tr tropical countries. This data set is, um, is important uh, in order to reduce uncertainties in um, emissions derived from land cover land use change. I work with countries that are interested in participating in RED. RED is a mechanism uh, re to reduce emission from deforestation and degradation. So in parallel to the mapping activities, we have been working on country capacity building. Country capacity building has a goal to train in uh, the tools and the techniques that we use here at the center to map carbon stock and to generate the type of information that uh, government, uh, NGOs and civil societies are requested to provide uh, in, uh, at the time in which they want to participate in RED. Hi, my name is Wayne Walker. I'm a scientist here at the Woods Hole Research Center. As part of my work, uh, I'm involved very closely with uh, Alessandro Baccini on the country capacity building that he described as part of our pantropical mapping project. In South America, where much of our capacity building is based, we've been approached by COICA. COICA is an acronym that stands for Coordinator of Indigenous Organizations of the Amazon Basin. Indigenous peoples throughout the tropics, but particularly in the Amazon, are interested in having a greater voice at the table where discussions of RED are concerned. And for them, this means first having a better understanding of what climate change is, and then where RED is concerned, having a better understanding of the role of forests in uh, reducing carbon dioxide emissions in the atmosphere. As part of our capacity building activities, uh, we really play two roles. We, we first of all uh, work with them to, to better understand the climate change piece and the relationships between climate, uh, forests, and, and above ground biomass and carbon stored in those forests. And we also work with them to build uh, technical skills, concentrating on tools and techniques um, that they can use to actually, uh, on the ground, um, measure and, and, and map uh, the amount of carbon contained in their, in their own forests. During the course of these workshops, and, and by the time they are complete, we, we find uh, that our indigenous friends are very much empowered with the information that they've gained and are, are in a new position, a better position, to, to go forward in their own negotiations, their own discussions uh, of, of RED and, and their involvement in it. Looking forward, uh, we are working very closely with partners to uh, help uh, indigenous peoples in, in select Amazon Basin countries uh, develop and, and operate their own indigenous-led RED projects. In doing so, we are providing current and future indigenous leaders with the technical background they need to make informed decisions about RED and their forests. 